I'm an underwriter for the most part, but there are parts of the book that I will overwrite and then I have to go back and have to cut things. And I think every writer is probably that way, especially if it's the first draft when we are telling the story to ourselves. I am rewriting my current novel, The Rajput, and there are a few things I am doing to beef up the story and I thought I'll share some of these to give you an idea and what you might want to think about regarding your own novel, your book, if you are also an underwriter like me. But before I continue, please understand that I'm not an expert. I'm only sharing my experiences and what I'm learning as I'm writing and getting feedback from a professional editor. And if you need help with your book, consider hiring a developmental editor or line or copy editor or a book coach or have a critique partner. The first thing that I did was look at my story and see if it has a plot and B plot or A story and B story and potentially C story. One of the feedback I got from my editor was to flesh out my B story in my novel and as I have done that the word count has automatically increased. So you want to add things like uh, smaller roadblocks for characters that they can overcome. The story about other characters that intertwine with your main story or that creates an obstacle for the main character to get to, to the climax of the story. So my book is mainly a romance novel, but the B story is the suspense plot. And it's intertwined in a way that the B story is forcing the characters to interact and thus fall in love. Now I'm really struggling with this book to be honest because I have never written a romantic suspense novel. And that's why I hired a developmental editor to help me out. The other thing you can look at is individual scenes. Have you incorporated the five scenes to build up the show portion of your character's reaction? And do they have uh, moments of introspection? If done the right way, not only do they add to the word count, but also helps to draw the readers in and feel what the characters are feeling. Another point that's worth looking at is where your characters are getting their information from. For example, in my novel, The Rajput, one of the characters discovers something. Now, instead of him being this superhuman and know-it-all, I have him ask for help and so I introduce another character and have that character tell him the information that they need to understand about the thing that they have discovered. I know that's such a vague example, but hey, I'm trying not to give away the story, but I hope it made sense. Anyways, by doing this, I'm trying to show that this character doesn't have all the answers and needs help from an expert and also gives the other character some space. And by doing all this, it's automatically adding to my word count. What this also does is helps with pacing because the information comes in bits and pieces which gives the characters time to react, be shocked at what he's being told, sad he couldn't help this other character, angry that someone is coming after his loved ones. There are so many layers and I can't just tell the readers th these emotions. I have to show them by way of dialogue and reaction to the information he's getting. By taking away this information as a whole and revealing it slowly, I'm hoping to make the plot more intriguing. So see how you can maybe take away something in your own story, in your own novel that makes it more interesting or maybe add something that changes the dynamics between the characters. The next thing you could do is add more details. And the challenge is to do this without becoming a victim of purple prose. One of the things that I looked for in my scenes during my rewrites was whether my readers would know where the scene is taking place. 
if the event is happening in summer does that reflect in the way their body would react if it's hot or what they are wearing or like i have this scene where i describe the character i describe where the character can hear the ac which indicates how quiet the surrounding is that they can actually hear the ac's hum so look at your scenes and see if there are places where you can add more details or get more specific where the characters are or what they are doing or wearing but all this should be relevant to the story because it has to either make sense for the plot or for the character the other thing i'm doing is adding red herrings which is helping the word count adding false start and false stop or dead ends or a victory only to later realize that it's not really a victory these red herrings not only add to the word count but also helps with the pacing and the emotional arc of the story builds tension and release and more tension and another release push and pull which makes writing interesting in the next video i share what i've learned so far about red herrings so i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.